All right, so first of all, I'm going to say what a lot of people are going to say in the comments because this video is going to get a lot of hate. Um, it, it's going to be a pretty fucked up video. So, yes, I'm fat. Yes, I'm uh, Mexican or whatever you want to call me. Uh, yes, I'm whatever. I'm fat. And I'm fat. And I'm fat. And I'm fat. Oh, those are, the, that's, that's, those are pretty much the comments that I'm going to receive from this video. I uh, would really recommend you just hit the dislike now and leave it, it, or hit the like if, if you agree with me and I think a lot of you will Okay, so there's this big PMAG debacle debate uh, Just whiny little bitches about PMAG Okay, here's here's the PMAG. This is for my AR. It's loaded. It's a PMAG It's 13 bucks, All right? Here's my AK mag the circle 10 mag all right, circle 10 for the AK. Nice magazine, very good magazine. A hell of a magazine, okay? So keep that in mind. I had a PMAG fell on me. It was an AR mag. And I dropped it from about three feet and there's a video on, on my channel, you can look at it. And it fell and it broke and uh, I made a video, not so much, oh fuck you PMAG. You fucking PMAG, put some steel feet lips on this shit. Put some steel reinforcements on this shit. All I wanted to do out of that video was ask a question if it had happened to other people. And people were like, nah, you're the first. Call PMAG, call Magpul. Um, and I did. I called Magpul and I said, hey, I had a problem with your product. Um, not just, is it something that's happening? I wanted to know. Because uh, I have about 35 PMAGs. And they're like, no, it really hasn't happened much, but go ahead and send it to me and I'll send you a new PMAG. And I didn't. I just chunked the mags. It's a $13 magazine. I'll get back to that in a minute. What do we have here? We have 10 minutes. It's, it's going to, I mean, I'm going to talk whatever I'm going to talk. AK guys, buying PMAG. I don't have any PMAGs for my AK. I had PMAG for my AK. I sold them uh, when I sold the rifle. Like, I'll sell a rifle and I'll sell it with, with magazines. Uh, that's how I feel a guy will think he's getting a deal. But, uh, because I had gone out of the AK world. I'm going back into the AK world. And I know that these magazines are top notch because when I had an AK-74, I had Circle 10s and I love them. And these are uh, top notch, top tier magazines. Are there better magazines out there than this? Yes, but to me, this is pretty much what I want and this is where we're getting a lot of people a lot of little bitches that are having problems with AK magazines breaking on them because they fucking drop them fully loaded from six feet high or whatever and they break and they're like oh fuck P mag why you're supposed to add steel add steel P mag what the fuck you already did it on your tabs, and even then, break, and I'm fucking talking shit about them. Like, why, motherfucking PMAG, why? You know, guys, this is a $13 magazine. Just as much as the AK magazines for the PMAG, MOE magazines are 13 bucks. Was it worth me going to the post office for $13, sending it in, waiting for my other PMAG to come in? Magpo was offering to pay. They were sending me a fucking label. But for 13 bucks, I'm not going to fucking cry about it. Look, this is the magazine that most AK guys would like PMAG to be. 13 bucks. What if they added steel reinforcements on this? Steel feed lips, steel this, steel that. Just as this one has. Why don't you go out and buy yourself some Circle 10 magazines? Oh, the way they're 45 bucks. Only a fucking dumbass would pay them. Well... If I'm gonna, if it's gonna keep me from bitching, well then I'd rather be a dumbass than be a little bitch bitching about a P mag that's 13 bucks that doesn't have the things that this magazine has. Oh, you want steel reinforcements? Yeah. Oh, this one has it. Oh, you want to, you want a steel reinforced spine? Okay. Yeah. We're covered there. Oh, you want a steel base plate? Yeah. This has it. Oh, you want steel feed lifts? Yeah. This has a whole uh, a steel cage up here. Oh, your P mag doesn't have that. Oh, it's 13 bucks. Oh, but you want them, you want them to put all these things in here. A US company to put all this stuff in here. And you want it to be only what? What'd you say? 
25 bucks, that's all you want to pay for a magazine of this quality, but from this company, that is fucking stupid. Go out and get yourself some fucking Circle Tens and run these, or get fucking Steel Com Block Mags. But no, they want to bitch up. They want to bitch out a Magpul because it's their thirteen dollar magazine doesn't have all the things that they break. Any fucking magazine will break. Thirteen bucks. Thirteen dollars. You fucking serious? Oh, but I bought seven of them. Okay. Out of those seven magazines, you could have bought maybe two of these, right? Maybe. Give or take. So it would have had, would it have been better to have two of these magazines that you know is going to last longer than? Seven thirteen dollar magazines. Have you ever thought of that? It, it just rubs me the wrong fucking way that people want this type of quality in a thirteen dollar magazine. Oh, but they only want to pay like twenty five bucks. They're like, yeah, I'm like, cool. Add all this stuff, but only make it twenty five dollars. You know, because that's what we want to pay, and don't make it anymore because we won't pay that, and we'll fucking boycott you for selling them any more expensive than that. So Magpul added steel reinforcements. What did the magazine go up to? What, another eight bucks? So now you want feet lips and you want a spine and you want a base plate? You want all that? Well, it's going to be pretty much the price of this. And it still won't be that of a Bulgarian Circle 10 magazine. I guarantee you that. I love Magpul. I'll keep buying Magpul magazines from my AR. You know, they're, they're great. If I drop one by accident, who the fuck was around dropping magazines like this? Who the fuck does that? Well, it's a test. Okay, you tested it, you broke it. Now don't do it again, you fucking moron. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break all of them. They will all break, motherfucker. They're all gonna fucking break. Damn. Get a fucking Circle 10 and shut the fuck up. Like, seriously. Or don't complain if a $13 magazine breaks on you. <laughs> That's the end of the fucking video, guys.